Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for our continuing GP educational series. Today, we're going to talk about the GP web client. We thought this was a timely topic um, with, you know, a lot of people working from home these days. Um, so let's dive in. Web client came out, first came out with GP version 2013. And initially, it was um, a little clunky. It was slow. Um, you know, the few people that tried it weren't that crazy about it. Um, but with the newer versions of GP, they've really enhanced the web client. And so now the web client is built, um, you know, it, it's HTML5. So it works with most browsers, Safari, Firefox, Chrome. Um, you can browse from any type of device, whether it's a laptop, um, you know, an Android, your iPhone. Um, so they've really enhanced, you know, the, the user experience. Today we're going to look at what it looks like to log in um, to the web client and, and then, you know, talk about some other um, ISV products and, you know, that sort of thing. So here is the web client login screen. You notice that um, you, up at the top, you plug in the uh, URL, username and password. So you notice initially right here, this is going to be your Windows or Active Directory login information. Um, it does have single sign-on capabilities, so if configured properly, um, if configured properly here in the user setup window within GP, your Windows account and your SQL Server GP account are linked, and then it becomes a single sign-on um, experience. If the two aren't linked, you can still access the web client. Um, you know, the regular login window would then pop up. You could type in your GP username and password. So next screen, obviously, um, this is similar to the regular client, you know, the RDP login that or desktop login, whichever you guys um, normally use. So if you had multiple GP companies, here is where you would be able to select which company from the dropdown you were logging into. Okay, once in the web client, you notice that the home page looks just a little bit different. Um, one of the biggest differences is the, the area uh, the um, area page sections. Instead of going across, you know, having like three across, um, you know, on your display, they list horizontally. So each tile um, lists horizontally. But really, that's the only difference. You know, it looks a little bit different, but not, um, not too much. So here, if we go to the purchasing page again you notice that the sections are laid out horizontally top to bottom um, again you still have your navigation options out to the left and then you know to the right are your normal sections transactions inquiry cards reports So this is the vendor maintenance window. Um, so we went to cards, vendor, open the vendor um, maintenance card. Here you notice this does look a little bit different. Up at the top here, you have these tabs for vendor accounts, address, options. Um, in the nor in the in the GP client that you would RDP to or log in 
you know, on your workstation, um, those would be buttons at the bottom of the window. So instead of the buttons, they've created these tabs in the maintenance windows. So this would be the same um, on the customer card, on the item cards. Smart lists. Obviously, folks rely on smart lists a lot, so we want to make sure that, you know, your smart lists are accessible. Um, here they are. You have the same buttons um, up at the top, so you can do searches, you can um, refresh, you can add columns, just like you would normally. You know, the layout's just a bit different down here, but you have the same functionality. Obviously, you can still export to Excel. So, same functionality there, you're not losing anything. All of the GP modules are accessible um, on the web client, so you're able to, you know, do your work. One cool feature of the web client is you have the ability to put in a search for either a form or a report. And so you notice here, I'm typing in vendor in my search, and down below, it's showing all the different search results. And so from here, I can just click on, you know, over to the left, click on which area I want to go to and access it that way. So, um, you know, that is something that's just unique to the web client, your normal, um, you know, client version of GP does not have that function. If you do have multiple companies in GP, you are still able to navigate between companies. You would just click on the company name in the top toolbar. You could also change your GP login up here as well. So either or works similar again to your client version of GP. So everything is, you know, it's more similar than different. Obviously the screens look a little bit different, but you have the same core GP functionality in the web client that you do in your, um, you know, RDP or desktop client. So, there are a few things that don't work on the web client, one of them being integration manager. So, um, you know, most third-party ISV products for GP now work with the web client, but that is one consideration we would also want to look into. So, if you guys are interested in, um, you know, perhaps turning on the web client. The web client comes free with your GP installation, so you have the technology there. Um, it does require its own web server, so, um, you know, you guys would have to provision, um, you know, another server for this, but, um, you know, it, the the software itself is included in your GP subscription. So um, a lot of folks use a combination of both RDP and web client, and one of the benefits of that is it really um, kind of cuts down on the terminal server traffic. So some folks notice that it helps with um, data processing times, you know, running reports because the web server is not, you know, the folks that are logged in via the web client aren't using the same terminal server resources. So it does kind of split um, the traffic and so people notice an enhanced, you know, remote experience. But, you know, like I said, most most clients do have both RDP to a terminal server and some web clients. And so um, folks that are running reports, doing inquiries, you know, light data entry um, can, or really any data entry can access via the web client. If you're running integration manager integrations or there is a third party product you're using that doesn't 
um, work well with the web client, then you know those folks would RDP to the terminal server and remote that way. Um, so that is our brief overview of the GP web client. Um, like I said, we thought it was timely information to get out. Um, if anybody is interested in, um, you know, turning this feature on, give us a call and we can talk through any specific ISVs. We can, you know, do a live demo, walk you through what it looks like, um, and go from there. So, Brad, Great. back Great. to you. Thank you, Diane. Um, oh, if you have any wait, one other thing. I wanted to mention real quick, sorry, sure. while we're on the topic, um, you know, for those of you that don't know, Turnkey does offer um, hosting of your GP um, version. So there are some advantages to moving GP to the cloud. Obviously, um, you know, it, it takes some of the burden off of your IT staff. Um, and we do have, along with our hosting, a promotion going on right now where we are offering one free year of turnkey total care. And that is a monthly managed service plan that um, includes, you know, so many hours of support each month along with, you know, um, meetings to keep you up to date on any support cases that are open, closed, you know, what's the status of stuff. It also comes with some training vouchers. Um, there's options within that for even more managed services if you want somebody to really manage your SQL server. Um, but this all comes free if you guys um, decide to move your GP to our hosted cloud. 